Maths is so fun with Mr. Num and my flowery shirt. What are we learning today? Today we're going to learn how to find a fraction of a whole number. Yay! Brilliant. Now this is quite interesting problem solving because you know you might want to find a fraction of an amount of money or a fraction of a weight or something like that. So let's have a look at this problem. Now let's pretend you've got a lovely aunt or uncle and he has said or she said you can have three eighths of 64 pounds if you can work out how much it is. Okay, let's have a look at how we do that. So our first step is to find what one eighth of 64 pounds is. So the way we do this is we divide by the Denominator. Denominator. Okay, so 64 divided by 8 equals 8. eight. eight. Fantastic. So 1 eighth is going to equal 8 pounds. Now, that's 1 eighth. We need to find out what 3 eighths is. So we now need to multiply by the numerator. Brilliant. So 8 times 3 is 24. Fantastic, it's as easy as that. So 3 eighths of my 64 pounds is 24 pounds. Okay, I'm now going to give you um, one of these sums to do at home and you can freeze your uh, YouTube film and have a go at it and see whether you can get it right. So my challenge to you is to find two fifths of 45 pounds. And remember, you're dividing by the denominator and multiplying by the numerator. Brilliant. So pause your film now. And pause. Brilliant. OK, let's go through and have a look at this. So uh, before we get to the end, we have to start, we have to first find out what one fifth of 45 is. So one fifth is going to equal, we have to divide 45 by the Denominator. Brilliant. So 45 divided by 5 equals... 9. Brilliant. 9 pounds. Excellent. But that's only one fifth. We want to find two fifths of 45. So we need to multiply by the... Numerator. Brilliant. So 9 times 2 equals... 18. Fantastic. So you can go back to your lovely aunt or uncle and say, I would like 18 pounds because I have found two-fifths of 45 pounds. That's brilliant. That's all today, and I hope to see you later. Maths is for fun, with Mr. Nun, and my flowery shirts. That's enough for today.